Okay, now that we are going to be talking about law of reflection in curved mirrors, I have changed the focus to the whiteboard, right? So this is what we saw so far as law of reflection, right? If there is a plane mirror, right, and they, uh, there's a mirror, there is a normal at a point of incidence. Wherever the light hits, we draw normal, we draw the incident ray, we draw the reflected ray. These are the key parts of any reflection diagram. How do I translate this to a curved mirror? So, if I draw a curved mirror, it will look something like this. Now, uh, in this curved mirror, I am going to make it a concave mirror, like this, slightly curved to the inside. Now, one thing I need to first decide is where is my point of incidence, meaning where is my light going to fall. I am going to assume this point over here is point of incidence. Okay, now in a plane mirror point of incidence, we draw normal exactly 90 degrees to the mirror. Just like we discussed over here, I will not draw a straight line at 90 degrees. I cannot make 90 degrees with a curve. So I will make sure that I connect it to the point we spoke about, which is called as C. I will make sure that this point of incidence is connected to C. Now this becomes my normal. Okay. Now normal is important because the angle of incidence and angle of reflection depend on the normal, right? So I'm assuming a ray of light that comes like this, right? It's coming from far away and hits the point here, just like this incident ray. Okay. This is the incident ray over here. So angle between incident ray and normal is angle of incidence, incident ray, normal angle of incidence. Right. Similarly, once it hits, it bounces away with some reflection angle, right? That reflection angle is between normal and reflected. So, if it bounces back like this, it is going to move in that direction. And right, so that is I. Let me write that clearly. Now, this angle here between normal and reflected ray, that is angle of reflection. Even in this case, angle I will always be equal to angle R. The only difference is that the point C differs. Normally what we do, we don't write C in the air. We make sure we connect C to the mirror. Right, just draw a straight line connecting C to the mirror like this, right? Now, wherever C meets the mirror, this point is called as P or what we say pole, right? So two points we know about. One is center of curvature where all the normals will meet. Second is P or pole, which is basically the point that where the C is going to touch the mirror. This line from C touches the mirror. Now, 
now this line is called nothing but my principal axis okay this is principal axis center of curvature and pole now finally one last thing if you notice this ray of light that is coming it's parallel to this principal axis over here right this line and this line are parallel right if a light is parallel to principal axis once it hits the mirror it's going to come through and cut the principal axis do you see that this point is what we call as nothing but focus okay so four things we have learned about c center of curvature p pole uh, we have learned about f which is nothing but focus and we have learned about principal axis axis right center of curvature pole focus and principal axis so the principal axis is a line that connects all these points p f and c and it's a straight line so this is the major diagram that you need to know for every concave mirror that you draw make sure you draw the mirror make sure you draw a line from here in the middle make sure you first mark the pole then somewhere you will mark f and in the ending somewhere you will mark as c pole focus center of curvature and principal axis again normal connects to the pole angle of incidence angle of reflection so the law of reflection is holding for these and we need to always keep in mind that these four points are majorly there for every concave mirror it also applies for convex mirror in a slightly different way for a convex mirror i will this is a convex mirror right it is exactly reverse right pole is here focus is here and center of curvature is here right so just majorly remember these two diagrams concave mirror and this is a convex mirror so that concludes my lesson for the day that is understanding what is the law of reflection look like for a curved mirror and the basic diagram for these two curved mirrors majorly we'll mostly study about concave mirror in the coming few classes